Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Today I'm going to be building a remote controlled tank buster. So let's stop right there and let me do a little bit of explaining. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be visiting the YouTube channel called Tank Commander BT. And over there, Lowell builds all of these really cool tracked vehicles. Now they're not little bitty vehicles and they're not full size, but they are big enough that you can get in and ride around in them. So I'm going to go and visit Lowell over at his channel. He doesn't live too far away from me. And um, I wanted to build something to take with me. Now Lowell's really big into paintball. And like I said, he's got a paintball tank. So I figured let's build something that I can take with me and have some fun. And this little tank buster uh, kind of was the idea that popped into my head. So that's the background on what's going on. Um, I've got a mobility scooter down here in the barn. I think that would be good to start with, uh, make that kind of the base to build this little tank buster on. So I need to get the tractor and dig it out because it is buried down there. So let's head on over to the tractor and get started on this build. So now that the frame's finished and I've also got a lid and a bumper and some lights on it, 
I need to work on a way to make this thing remote controlled. So the plan right now is to go and rob some parts like a speed controller and some batteries off of that self-balancing scooter that I built years ago. And then to control everything, I'm gonna use this RC setup that a viewer donated to the channel a couple of years ago. And just like that, through the magic of video editing, I've got this all wired up. I did it all off camera because I didn't want to bore you guys with me just running a whole bunch of wires through here. So I'll just give you the quick rundown on what's going on. These are the batteries from the self-balancing scooter. This is also the speed controller from the self-balancing scooter. I've got the receiver for that RC transmitter right here and everything is plugged into it. I've got a couple of RC switches now this takes the signal from the radio and it will turn on or off a couple of relay boards like this one right here. And that should have everything all ready to go. Oh, and I also have a high amperage power switch right here. So like I said, this should have everything all ready to go and I should be able to take this on a quick test drive. Okay, so now it's time to give this its first little test run. And I'm going to start out by testing the headlights. If I flip this switch, the lights should come on, and they do. And if I push the joystick forward, it should move forward. And if I pull it back, it should go backwards. And then we will also try right and left. So this thing is all wired up and ready to go, and it looks like I got everything on the first try. So now that the frame, the electronics, the chassis, everything's complete and working and I can drive it through remote control, it's time to mount something on here to make it useful in a paintball tank battle. So what I decided to do is mount this on it. This is a Tipman paintball marker. It is capable of full auto and it has an electronic trigger. The advantage of the electronic trigger means that not only will it do full auto, but it will be easy to hack and fire through remote control. Now I just need to find a cool way to mount this onto the tank buster. So I know some of you guys are going to ask, how do you raise and lower the barrel? Well, the simple answer is you don't. I just ran out of time. I've got to get this thing loaded and off to tank commanders uh, in the morning. So I've pretty much just ran out of time, but I've got it at optimum tank busting level. So I think everything on this is going to work just perfectly fine. And I can move it left and right just by moving the vehicle. It's just the up and down is going to be a little bit limited.
So if you want to see this thing in action, you're going to have to wait till next week because I'm slapping a coat of paint on it and then I'm going to haul it up to Tank Commander's headquarters where we're going to put it in a little miniature paintball tank battle. So if you're not a subscriber, please be sure and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get a notification when that video goes live. And I'll also put it uh, right here on the side of the screen somewhere. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. We'll see you next week and thanks for watching.